Are you in? What's up, DC fans? This is James at Digital Charcuterie. Please give us a like and a subscribe and share this if you want. Thank you so much for joining me today. It really means a lot. Let's get right to it. The Flash has been test screened. People have seen The Flash and I have heard reports. People have been talking about it. Some people are saying they've seen this. Some people haven't. I did get an email from someone. I wasn't sure if I could believe it, but that email checks out with what I have just read on DC E News where they break down The Flash. So if you do not want to be spoiled for this movie that's going to come out, in the next 67 years, I would stop watching right now. I appreciate you being here. Let's get right into the spoilers, okay? So here we go, the flash test screening. This is all from DCE News, and I'll read what the email said uh, a little bit later on as well. Apparently, it's a fun flick. People are saying it's very enjoyable. It's not their favorite movie. Some people are saying the, the email that I got says that they didn't like it as much as the better MCU films, but they did like it more than the Justice League, of course, and they said they actually enjoyed it more than Aquaman and Wonder Woman too. so take that as... Uh, Will. Kara Zor L is the main Kryptonian of the story. Unfortunately, Henry Cavill is not in the film whatsoever. Not even on the TV screens as reported from the report that I'm hearing. Nothing to do with Henry Cavill whatsoever. Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa both come back as Aquaman and Wonder Woman respectively. DCE News is not reporting what they do in the film. And my email says it's a fun little bit. That's all I know right now is it's a fun bit that they are in it for. But this is the big one. This one, I got, this is the part where I saw it in the email. I said, I don't believe this, but apparently Shazam does make an appearance in The Flash. Shazam is in The Flash. The Snyderverse, the email goes more into the Snyderverse, so I'll get that in a little bit, but also Zod and Feora both appear in the film and it actually sets the characters up for something to go on beyond this film. So remember we heard reports that the DC uh, Universe had some plans and they knew what they were doing? Well, this seems to be a part of it. The Flash really does seem to be setting up the future of the DCEU, which makes the delay even more questionable. Uh, the second Barry Allen is the villain of the film, which I think we're going to learn more about that as it goes along. That's what they're doing. So the email goes on to say that this, what this film does is it does not, no, nothing, by the way, nothing mentions Ben Affleck whatsoever, but what this film does, what the email does say that I got, it indicates that the Snyderverse is not destroyed. They don't get rid of it, but they kind of put it to the side and they can use it if they want. They never really get rid of it, but it's there for the taking if they so desire to recapture that masterpiece. If they want to go back into that universe, they can, but it looks like we're moving away from that. DC is moving away from that. It looks like Aquaman, Wonder Woman are going to be in the Shazam world. Fiora and Zod, who knows? Something big is going to happen there, and Supergirl is our Kryptonian. Supergirl looks to be replacing Superman, so unfortunately, it looks like the Henry Cavill talks, they might have stalled for good, or they might be placing Henry Cavill Superman on the back burner, and he just has no place in this story right now. But what it sounds like from the email that I got, it sounds like the Snyder versus put to the side and they have a new plan a new DC vision and they will say this person did email me and they said that, and and I know for a fact that they are Snyder fans they're Snyder vs fans but they said the flash was entertaining and fun and it let and it left them intrigued and looking forward to the future of the DC films beyond the Snyderverse because it still has the connective tissue to what we know and love before it, but it sets up a brave new world and something that they're very excited for. So that's the news coming out of The Flash. It sounds very exciting. I don't know what to make of it. I mean, these, these two reports have lined up. The, what I just told you are the two things that lined up from the email and, and the, the several reports, DC, DCE News, and also a few Reddits and, and some other things that I've seen online. So those line up right there. The rest of the things, I might do another video on a few other things later on because they didn't line up and they might not be something I want to report on. But I thought that this would be a lot of fun to discuss. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. So please leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Are you upset with the direction they're going? Are you looking forward to this movie any more, any less, based on what we just heard? Can't wait to hear what you have to say. So thank you so much for joining me today. Once again, give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.